Hey, this is Yazuki Wolf, and today I'd like to talk to you about something I've dubbed Art Clog. And now I'm pretty sure you've heard of terms like Art Block or Writer's Block, and those are things that um, most of us can relate to to some extent. But I've recently found something that I'm calling Art Clog. And unlike Art Block or Writer's Block where you just are staring at a blank page and you feel like you want something, you need to, you want to do something, but you just, you, you look into the, the recesses of your mind and you find an absolute barren wasteland of nothingness. Now, of course, there's the assumption that somewhere out there, there is this great inspirational landscape of, of great and wonderful ideas. But for some reason, there's just this huge wall standing between you and that great idea. But now that's not what I'm talking about. Because for me, there is no wall. The barrier to idea land has been blasted wide open. I got ideas popping out left and right, like saying, pick me, pick me, I want to go next. There's this ideas flowing like noth- like never before. Just all these possibilities, all these different routes that I can take in life that I see open up to me, right? But the problem is, I have this little bottleneck thing going on here where despite having tons of ideas and things that I truly want to do, I just don't have the capability to do them all. So it's like I have this pipe, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do because I have all these different ideas, like I want to do some, I want to do game design, right? And I'm a professional artist, so I want to do art for those games. And that includes both 2D art, 3D art, and now I'm actually even getting kind of dabbling into some pixel art as well, so... And there's the roots in that um, all this art I'm doing now, I'm doing for the purpose of gaming, but uh, my roots in art has been fantasy art. So, you know, I still have myself as a, as a, that, that kid in me that wants to just draw dra- fire-breathing dragons, you know? Especially lately, I've been getting back into uh, D&D, and that's been reminding me of my old uh, DM days. And I'm actually seriously itching to just get back into making another campaign. Like right now I'm, I'm playing as a player, but I really want to get back into uh, doing um, actual GMing. Um, I, I GMed for years upon years. So now on YouTube on Twi- and on Twitch you have people giving their Dungeons & Dragons stories or just like uh, live streaming their, um, their role playing sessions. And it's like I want to start doing stuff like that as well. And especially like a lot of my roots and the things of, that really got me into art and like just fantasy and, and games in general. It, 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 a lot of that came from my old uh, days as being a, a DM or a, a game master. So now on top of all this stuff and maybe actually part of what's, what's making it, it feel clog now is uh is youtube and just how everything i've been reading and trying to learn about youtube lately and figure out like why uh my my um analytics aren't doing as well as they used to it seems like just youtube has this the the youtube algorithm as it were just doesn't really allow for um a, a diverse uh range of um of topics on your YouTube channels anymore, and it's kind of forcing everyone to kind of follow down this this the same kind of like patterns to try to to try to mold their their content into this algorithm. But now, obviously, it's not just the algorithm that's that's clamping this over and causing this clog. I think also it's just time. Made more correctly, that just being an adult and having life and responsibilities that. Uh, kind of take a large amount of your time, especially since I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I never actually, I don't really even consider myself a YouTuber. I, f- I consider myself as an artist that's sup- supplementing my sort of like uh, my social media presence with by using YouTube. So essentially this little pipe here, this like kind of like little window of space that I'm trying to fit everything in, it only amounts to maybe a couple hours a day. So I've been finding myself in this situation lately where I'm here with this huge spectrum of ideas and things that I want to be working on. I mean, I don't think this is even all of it. I, I, I mean, these are just the first things that came to my head because with game design, just that by itself, there's, there's sort of small scale games that I want to work on as well as larger scale games. There's a game assets that I want to just create and put on the Unity Asset Store. Let's go ahead and put Unity in there as well. Plus there's the fact that um, I put the game art there, but also I need to study programming. So let's go ahead and just put, we'll put Unity in there. And then we also put that we have to learn C sharp and learn how to program and um, all these different skills that I'm constantly trying to uh, to pick up. And so I find this weird situation now where I get to this uh, little this little window of time that I have in my day, and I'm having a lot of trouble figuring out what to work on anymore. 
and it's it's sort it feels similar to sort of like a art block or like a writer's block or a creator's block, I guess I can call it, because this isn't all just just in terms of art. But um, it's not that I'm looking at a blank page and I have no ideas. It's that I have so many ideas, but I just have this little bitty this little bitty like window of time here to work with. And so every time I get to that window, it's like, okay, so now I have to, I, I can work. What should I work on? Should I work on learning? Um, should I make? Should I do like a little a little pixel a pixel game project? Should I participate in a in a in a game jam? Should I work on uh, my Kanakatana project, which um, you know it is coming coming about, and I'll I'll go ahead and put an update for that maybe in a in a video in the future. But uh, is that a priority? Because the other thing that really kind of kind of stresses this is that this whole YouTube thing like like this whole YouTube thing is kind of uh, been consuming a lot more space than, than it really should. So like the general plan was I wanted to have this little kind of pipeline going through here and I wanted to have it mainly be about art. So I wanted this pipe to have, be here and I wanted art to be the main thing that was running through here. This is all art and uh, game design. So this is all art and game design then to help things run smoothly and just sort of have a, a social media presence, I wanted to have a little bit of YouTube on the side, maybe um, maybe put some posts on DeviantArt, and I don't really post on DeviantArt anymore, but back in the day that was part of the plan, and there's some other social medias on the side every once in a while, just to kind of like keep my presence out there in, in, the, in, the, in the ether. And I liked, I liked YouTube the most, because YouTube definitely is my favorite social media site. I, I think I like video a lot more than I like sort of like the tweet type of, of, of form of like Twitter and other, other media forms. So I, I really started liking uh, YouTube, I started investing into it. But as time has gone by, it seems like YouTube, it's just the way that the algorithm works and it seems like all of a sudden YouTube is just growing bigger and bigger and demanding more and more of your time. Because essentially that's what they're doing is it seems like they're just uh, taking all their creators and they're running them through like um, like a hamster wheel or something, and hoping that uh, only the very best creators will, will, will remain, and all the rest will kind of fall off. I can understand why that is. It's sort of like just trying to get the cream of the of the crop, having only the best uh, uh, land at the end. is sort of like you're just your evolution of, of of how things go. But the problem is that for people like me who wanted like YouTube to be their social media presence and not necessarily wanted to be full-time YouTubers, it's like they're forcing you to either cho to choose to either be a full-time YouTuber or, I don't know, figure something else out. So essentially for me, Art Clog is just this phenomenon of having so many ideas and especially the way that the world is right now and just with the internet and how easy it is to learn new skills. Like there's just so much stuff I want to do, but unfortunately there is enough time to get everything done. But um, I guess the, the only answer is that you, you have to make sacrifices, you have to um, figure out what things you want to prioritize, and if you do prioritize well, you may still be able to get a lot of your projects done. Um, it's just a matter of figuring out which ones you want to get done first, and then learning to focus on those. And I would say a, a, another good, a, good idea is to make a list of all the ideas that you have, so at least you feel like they aren't going to disappear, that you have them recorded, and you can come back to them when you're ready for them, and then just decide which one you want to go for. Hopefully I'll be able to figure out how I, how I want to do that. Um, as you can see here, I have quite a mess on my little kitchen sink here of ideas that need to get through this pipe, and I'm going to have to figure out what order I want to put them through and which things I may need to sacrifice. Um, mostly I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate YouTube in a way that is not intrusive so that, uh, YouTube, so that YouTube can act as a way to help filter through the rest of these ideas rather than becoming a block itself, which I think at some times, in many ways, YouTube possibly for me has become a bit of a clog in and of itself. In many ways, I may even be able to say that YouTube itself has kind of become the clog down here in the pipe that's preventing, preventing things from getting through. Um, and I may go into that a little bit more in a future video. I want to avoid um, getting into it here because it would kind of be a mix of too much stuff in one top in one video again. Getting back to that whole clog thing, you see, I, I just want to do a video about one thing, but then all this other stuff starts coming up. But so this is what I am calling the creator's clog or the art clog, however you want you want to deem it. But anyways, if you have any ideas about how to um, 
tackle on the uh, the art clog, uh, go ahead and put those in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, especially my, myself. I am myself looking for advice. So if you have advice for me or for other uh, viewers, go ahead and put that down there and let's uh, figure this out together. So until next time, live boldly and be creative.